Now that we've got our golden rectangle component, we can start building our rig. So for that we'll need another conceptual mass. And we'll start by creating a center point for our sphere, which we'll place at the intersection of these two vertical planes. And then we can drag that up and parameterize the offset of the, the reference point. So let's just call that offset. Now what we want to do with our sphere is we want to be able to rotate it um, in two different directions. So um, we need two rotational axes. And for that we will need some more points and reference lines. So we're going to do that by uh, placing one more point on this reference point we just created. Uh, we're going to use one of the vertical planes. And then we get a warning that there are two identical points in the same place, which we can just um, acknowledge by pressing OK. And the next thing we do is we're going to drag that point to the side and parameterize the offset of that point as well. And that parameter we're going to call sphere radius. Now let's just select the two points and click on the spline through points which will give us a straight line between the two points and then we can turn it into a reference line in the object properties. Now for the first rotational axis we now need something that can actually rotate and that would be a hosted point on that line. So let's place a point on this line. Every point that is hosted on a line has a rotation angle and that we can um, parameterize as well. So let's call that rotation north-south. And later on we want to be able to move this point to the center, which we can easily do by manipulating the curve parameter. And uh, well, it's more convenient to do that with a, with a parameter, so let's assign a parameter here, which we'll call position 0. Now this same process we will have to repeat for the second angle, the second rotational axis. Uh, so let's grab another reference point and place it on this new reference point and choose this vertical plane. Again we get the warning, again we have to press OK and now we can drag that point away to the side and assign the um, sphere radius parameter to its offset. And then we will select these two points again and create a line between them and turn that into a reference line. And now we need another hosted point uh, to control the second angle of rotation. We will place that on the line we just created. Select the point and uh, assign a parameter its, uh, to its rotation. So let's call that rotation east-west. And again parameterize the position of the point um, by assigning the position zero parameter. Okay, so that's basically um, our setup. And um, now we can place the golden rectangle on this point here. And um, let's just turn on the visibility of its reference planes. Okay. 
Now we have to load the rectangle component into this mass and then we can start placing it. Set work plane and choose the reference point. Again set work plane, choose another one of these three planes and place another instance of the mass family and again set work plane and choose the last um, reference plane of this point and place the third instance. So this basically gives us uh, a shape like this and uh, that forms the basis of the icosahedron. Now we can go into the family types and um, clean this whole thing up a little bit. For example, what we can now do is move everything to the center by um, reducing uh, position 0 to 0. Now we'll get a, a, a warning that there are identical points in the same place, which is OK because that's what we're aiming for. So everything moves in the center now. And then uh, for the time being we can set the offset um, to the same value as the sear radius. And let's just give the sear radius a nice round number. And we can see that uh, the um, whole setup already uh, jumps into place. Uh, now let's quickly test the rotation. Okay, north-south seems to work. And east-west seems to work as well. Very well. <coughs> Now all we need to do is assign some parameters to the um, golden rectangle and uh, we use type parameters so we can just select one of them and click on edit type and now we want to hook up the sphere radius parameter with the sphere radius parameter in this family. So let's do that. Okay, it resizes, that's good. And um, what we also want to do is we want to control the visibility of these, um, these components because later on we might want to um, create a camera per perspective from the inside of the cube, uh, the, the, the sphere, and then of course we don't want to see these elements. So let's just select these three rectangles and parameterize the visibility and call it um, rig visible. Okay. Well, that basically gives us our rig. Now we're going to continue by creating uh, a component that uh, will uh, connect three of these vertices. We can actually just quickly simulate that by drawing a triangle between these three points. And basically, if we connect all the vertices, we will have um, 20 uh, equilateral identical uh, triangles that will form the icosahedron. But of course we're not going to do this by hand. We're going to build a uh, an adaptive component uh, that we're going to place here. But that's for the next video.